Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Ed Sullivan Theater. This is beautiful. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, even if I wasn't somehow involved in this story, I would be fascinated by it. <laughs> Don't you think? Yes, yes. It's a fascinating story, the whole thing. How, how have things gone for you over there? How, has it been kind of a, more of an adjustment than you thought it might be moving? You were primarily a writer, I guess, before yes. this. Yes, I had uh, done some performing, but there are a lot of things, as you know, to get used to. It's a very complicated oh, yeah. job. Yeah. I mean, I didn't understand this when I took the job, but there's someone called a stage manager mm -hmm. on these shows. I'm sorry, what do you say, Conan? A stage manager. Oh. Yes. Oh. You should write this down, Dave. <laughs> you see, Dave, TV's a very complicated thing. I'll talk to you after the show. Anyway, uh, there are these stage managers. I didn't know this was part of the deal. Uh, their job is to give you these signals, mm -hmm. like two minutes left, one minute, 30 seconds left. They keep wrap. you posted. They keep you posted. They're your connection to the control room. <laughs> That's right, yeah. exactly. And uh, you get some strange ones. I mean, about three weeks ago on the show, I'm doing an interview, it seems to be going well, and they hold up a card that says, wipe your chin. <laughs> and I, I felt like Ronald Reagan or something. I, it was very, I, I mean, I remember thinking, is this part of the deal, yeah. you know? <laughs> I felt like a complete idiot. And of course, everyone in the whole studio knew that I was drooling. I didn't know. <laughs> They hold up a card and the whole audience can see it. Wipe your chin, idiot. And well, this is it wipe your chin, idiot. They added an, an idiot. Oh my God. We had a uh, supermodel. <laughs> we had a supermodel on the show. Beautiful woman. Which one? I don't know, Dave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a one night stand. I don't know. Hey, and, uh, hello. Look out. And uh, no, but she came out wearing a slip that was oh. just barely. She was barely wearing this slip. And the interview is about three minutes into the interview. I'm in the moment, I'm talking to her, I'm, we're having a good conversation, when they wave a card that says, uh, her breast is showing. Whoa! <laughs> and it occurred to me, why are you showing me this card? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do about this? Yeah. <laughs> if, I try and, if I try and correct the problem, I will be sued. <laughs> That's right. They want me to leave. <laughs> one, one false move and you're in handcuffs. <laughs> I was more than happy to try, but it's very, the other thing I've noticed, uh, you don't have this problem anymore. Uh, you may never have had this problem. <laughs> but when you do a 1230 show, I've noticed that when people compliment you on an episode, they also feel obligated to tell you why they were up that late. <laughs> and yeah. it's very funny. And, I mean, people come up to me and they say, you know, I saw you with, uh, with Lisa Gibbons. You were really, uh, it was a great interview. I really liked it. Um, someone pulled a fire alarm in our building. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, I was coming back into the house, the TV was on, or, or someone will say, someone will say, I, uh, you know, I, I saw you with uh, Rich Hall. It was a very funny segment. I, um, I burned my hand about two days ago, and I have a, an ointment or a bomb that I have to apply every, uh, every few hours. Every few hours. And so I was applying the bomb. The TV happened to be on, and it was not a bad show at all. Time for the medication, and I yeah. just using it as a nightlight. Exactly. Saw you right there. So it keeps my ego in check. Uh, I know more about people's maladies now than I ever You know, did. you do. I was on, uh, you were nice enough to have me on the show a few months ago, two well, or three months ago. You were nice ago. enough to come. It was great. And, and when I watch the show, I'm very impressed because it always looks like you and your, uh, you and your staff, a, a bunch of hardworking, smart people, doing a great show. And I think, oh, I think it, it still continues much. to be very oh, impressive. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. We got a... Uh, you know, here are stage managers. <laughs> they take naps next to the camera. I've noticed that. We, <laughs> he's out cold. You received, uh, oh, that's good, Biff. Thank you very much. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. Just put, put that away and go back to sleep. Thank you. Uh, I was told that you received a, uh, like, a, was it a fan letter from the White House from President Clinton? Yes, President Clinton uh, sent me a letter, said he was a fan of the show. I think Hee Haw also got a letter. So I, I don't know, but but uh, no, I was very impressed. I got the letter, and then uh, he followed it up by uh, inviting me to the White House. That's very nice. And yeah, it was terrific. It was for this is true. It was for uh, prominent Irish Americans. It was on St. Patrick's Day, and uh, I don't know why one would laugh at that. <laughs> but the uh, th there were some very famous people. Richard Harris was there. Michael Keaton was there. And then there's some. I think Donnie Most from Happy Days was there. I didn't. Also, I didn't know he was Ralph Mouth. He. It turns out he isn't even Irish. He just has red hair. And <laughs> so uh, they invited him to. And I thought this is a great opportunity. Uh, I'm going to get a. St you know, when I meet Clinton, yeah. I want it to be this great exchange that I can then live off of for the rest of my Looking life. Looking for a moment. I wanted a great moment. Yeah. I'm in comedy. I can just tell this story. 
you know, for 100 years afterwards about my great meeting with the president and what did I say. <laughs> so I'm in line, you wait in this long line to meet the president, and I'm thinking, oh, I might give him one of these, you know, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. You know, I might try, uh, I might try something a little... Uh, something punky, yeah, sure. Yeah, something a little punky that I can then tell people, and they'll be like, wow, you did that? <laughs> so I'm thinking in the line, I'm thinking in the line, and you get to the head of the line. It's like a ride at Disney. Suddenly you go over the top, a gate opens, uh, you get to the end of the line, and you're, I'm shot out right there to President Clinton. And I froze. <laughs> I completely froze. All those, you know, wise Alec ideas go right out of your head. And uh, the president said, uh, this is uh, Conan O'Brien. He's uh, one of our late night talk show hosts. And he is, uh, this is Mike Clinton, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Very just, effective. Yeah, I'm Very. just telling you. I'm not an impressionist, but. Uh, Could have been Reagan, too. Yeah. Would have worked for either. You just. It's all purpose. Your all purpose this presidential is a, impression. This is my all purpose <laughs> <laughs> impression. It could be so many people. And uh, anyways, he's, he's one of our late night talk show hosts and his people are from Ireland. And the Prime Minister of Ireland is right there. And the Prime Minister of Ireland said, uh, tell me, where are you from? Where are your people from? And uh, the Prime Minister leans in like, I really, really wants mm -hmm. to know. And Clinton leans in <laughs> like, oh man, this is gonna be good, yeah. <laughs> he leans in too and there's this moment and I said, I don't know. <laughs> and immediately, immediately the line pushes past me. Donnie, Donnie Most was next. He said something really clever. Uh, uh, you know, he hung out with the president yeah, all night. You become he, an instant boom. Yeah, and so yeah. yeah, later that night, I'm trying to live off this story. Like, you know what I said to him? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it, sounds, good, huh? it sounds a little like Clinton, a little like Reagan, and a little like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> so you have kind of a whole. You have thing a, going yeah, there. it's a collage.